Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you for uh, joining us today for our Tuesday update. This is Tuesday, uh, April 21st, 2020, and uh, uh, let me say I believe we are getting uh, closer to being able to be uh, back together again in church, and uh, Brother John and I have met and kind of looking at some options and uh, uh, things that we are looking at maybe doing um, so we hope that's uh, hope that's down the road somewhere very very soon I want to thank you for continuing to uh, join us on Facebook and YouTube and you can look at those later uh, they're there on the uh, uh, on the website and you can access those later uh, I notice that folks continue to enjoy our walking trail and our prayer walk I hope you enjoyed our little introduction last week when uh, Brother John and I were able to take you through the eight prayer stations. Um, actually, I was able to share those with Kathy Faust, uh, who used to live on the property over there, and uh, she said she enjoyed it. She, of course, have not, has not been able to see the prayer walk uh, since she uh, uh, moved to Texas, but she enjoyed that. Remember our, uh, our call to pray and fast for revival, and uh, Brother John tomorrow night in our service at 7 o'clock, our Wednesday night service at 7 o'clock, we'll be speaking on that, prayer and fasting. And I think it's something uh, all of us, I'm looking forward to, uh, to uh, learning something maybe new about, uh, uh, about prayer and about fasting. And Brother John's done a great job. Um, I've been looking at uh, Psalm 85, verse number 6. And... Uh, the Bible says, Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Um, you know, that word revive there in Psalm 85 literally means to live uh, it, or to cause to live. And so the picture, the picture here is of uh, what we're experiencing now here in North Carolina, uh, the returning of springtime. And after the dead of winter and... Uh, you know, kind of the drab and, the, and uh, of, of winter, uh, things are now starting to, to to come out. The trees and the flowers and so on and so forth. Or you can also think about it as uh, young grass when the rain comes upon it, when it's been laying there dormant and seems to be dead uh, from a from a drought or the lack of rain, whatever. And the rain comes upon it and it begins to turn green again. That's the picture that we have here. In Psalm 85, verse number 6, Wilt thou not revive us again, the psalmist says, that thy, that thy people may rejoice in thee. Now, if you take some time, and I hope you will, the previous verses there in Psalm 85 talk about uh, God's blessings that Israel enjoyed, they received in the past from God, and they're asking him to do it again. That's basically what they're asking there reviewing their past blessings and God's goodness and grace upon them. And then they're asking God, God, do it again. Do it again for us. And here's the thought I had. Here's the thought I had as I read this the other morning. If, if we can be revived, then we, like Israel, can become unrevived. Now, I know that's not, that's not a good word. But you think about this. You think about this. If we can be revived again, then we have to assume that we can become unrevived. We can get uh, to a place in our life that we need revival, that we need to be revived or to be made alive again. Will that not revive us again? But then notice, notice the rest of the verse, that thy people may rejoice in thee. Uh, so what's, what's the thought here that I want to leave you here on this, this Tuesday morning? God, please, please revive us again and bring back our praises and rejoicing. Bring back our praises and rejoicing. Now, I'll be addressing uh, this just a little bit on Sunday morning. I think I shared with you uh, that uh, Lord willing, I'm going to be speaking Sunday morning, and what will the church look like when we come back to church? 
uh, not physically. Uh, you know, we've not done any major renovations or anything. It'll be the same building, the same auditorium, and the same lobby, and so on and so forth. But when we come back, how will we be different? How will you and I be different? And I pray for, and I, I pray from our our uh, our emphasis on prayer and revival and the challenge we have accepted from Brother John uh, gave us some time back. I pray that when we come back, we are going to be different. Uh, church is going to be different. Of course, we are the church. And when we come back, things are going to be different. We're going to come back with a sense of praise and rejoicing and expectation and anticipation of what the Lord has for us. So think about that verse today. Psalm 85, verse number 6. Well, thou not revive us again, that thy, that thy people may rejoice in thee. Uh, have a great Tuesday, and whatever you're involved in today, have a great Tuesday. Uh, we miss you, and hopefully, hopefully, church, uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, we so look forward to uh, being able to be back together again and rejoicing and praising God for all that he's done for us. So have a great day. Thank you very much.